Welcome to today's Career Lab, Reach Alumni with Lundquist Connect, brought to you by More Career Services at the Lundquist College of Business. What is Lundquist Connect? It is an online tool where students, alumni, and friends of the Lundquist College of Business can build connections, share insights, and advance their careers. You can reach it by going to lundquistconnect.uoregon.edu. So you might be asking, well, why would I use it? Well, like LinkedIn, it is a great tool for networking. Where the two differ, however, is that alumni have already opted in here. They have said that they're open to hearing from students and willing to serve as a resource. It's a great way to learn more about a job function or industry from someone who has experience, from someone who's been there. And it's easy to reach out. We have email templates provided for you. So there are four steps to connect. First, log in. Second, create a profile. Then search for alumni who are doing work that interests you or who offer expertise or perspective that you hope to learn from. Then you can reach out using the email templates provided. Let's take a look at the Lundquist Connect platform. So here's the home page, and you would go down and click Join the Community. And then if you're a student, it shows you there how you would sign up. You would, first of all, click Join Now, which would be up in the upper right-hand corner, and then select Duck ID and follow the steps for authentication to sign in. You'll then need to complete your profile. As you see, there is a button you can use to import your LinkedIn profile in order to populate the new profile, or you can choose to start from scratch. If you choose to start from scratch, it's very similar to what you do on LinkedIn. You'd put in your first name, last name, your headline, and remember headlines are important. You can also upload a photo, and if you choose, you put in your current location. Be sure to complete your About section. So you might be thinking, well, what makes a good About section? It's very similar, again, in this way to LinkedIn. A good About section is future-oriented, it highlights specific values, interests, personalities, and the skills that you offer. It gives an idea of where you're headed or what you're interested in. And most importantly, it sounds like you. It should be written in first person. Be sure to complete the matching quiz. You'll be asked about your interests, what you'd like help with. Be sure not to skip this step. This is how the platform will select matches or possible connections for you, so it's really important. On this platform, there's multiple ways to connect. Once you build your profile, you can see suggested contacts and existing conversations. So the community tab is what you'll use for networking. Discussion is where you can pose a question to the group or browse past discussions. Resources is where you can check out articles and tips to help you on your career journey. And groups is coming soon. That will allow for conversation and resource sharing among students and alumni with a shared interest. So there you can see the menu across the top. And again, you would select Community so that you could start networking. Lundquist Connect will suggest connections based on your matching quiz. So note here I've pulled up uh, staff members. Simply for the sake of privacy, there are many people on Lundquist Connect and you will get people who are matched to your interests. If I decided to click on a profile, it might look something like this. I've selected Chris Bennett, who's the Senior Associate Director for Career Engagement with the Lundquist College of Business. I can see a number of things from his profile, when he graduated, where he's located, and what industry he works in. I can also get a sense of what he's about and interested in by reading his About section. But a particular note are the things in common. Always check things in common. Remember, it's easiest to reach out to people when you have things in common. So start there, and then I could go and select Message Chris. That takes me to the email template section. There are three different sections of templates that we have. One is industry exploration, which I have pulled up right now. So you can see the templates there with some fill in the blank areas. And to the right, you can see that the system gives me some reminders about how I might shape that message. In this case, it's personalizing it and making sure that I remove the underlines so that it looks professional. And then go ahead and hit send. So on this platform, as really in any sort of networking arena, 
professionalism counts. So the guidelines are to be polite, use the email templates provided to help you craft your message, be sure to be thoughtful of the person's time, and as always with networking, the goal is not to ask for a job or internship. Sure, eventually it might lead to an internship or job, which is fabulous, but regardless, it's very important to keep learning about different job functions, different industries, because that information is useful to your job search. Be sure to be specific. Be clear about what it is you're asking for. Are you asking for advice? Did you want some of their perspective on an industry, etc.? And then if one of your goals is to set up an informational interview, great. Go ahead and suggest specific times to connect by phone or Zoom. Make it easy for your contact by giving them some different times to choose from. And then of course, always be appreciative. Always say thank you. Remembering that time is valuable. The person's perspective is valuable. And then of course, with networking, as always, follow up. It's important to follow up without hounding, which means don't follow up so often that the person feels like you are not leaving them alone. Instead, reach out, follow up, and give ample time for someone to respond. For more ideas about this, check out the networking and informational interview resource pages on Handshakes for more tips. There are now more than 600 active users on Lundquist Connect from around the world, and that number will only continue to grow. So it's an exciting time to get started with the platform. So after using the Lundquist Connect platform, one of the things a student said was, knowing that everyone in the Lundquist Connect platform is an alum that willingly signed up to help network with current students takes away some of the awkwardness and pressure you might feel when reaching out to someone you don't know. And that really is kind of the great thing about Lundquist Connect. You know that people are open to hearing from you. So it's not quite as daunting as it might be if you're doing a cold outreach on LinkedIn. Key takeaways here. Lundquist Connect is easy to join. There are no costs involved. Remember that alumni have already said yes to being contacted by students. Email templates and automated feedback on messaging take the guesswork out of reaching out. And Lundquist Connect also offers access to discussion topics, career resources, and soon groups, a great way to build your knowledge. So for further support, you can make a virtual appointment with a career advisor through Handshake. You could stop by our virtual drop-in. Be sure to check the virtual support resource page at Handshake for a schedule. Check out the Lundquist Connect resource page on Handshake for more information about this platform. And for upcoming events, check Handshake. Well, that's all I have for you today, but thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time in the Career Lab.